I would like to tell you about Dead Poets Society. Dead Poets Society is a film from 1990 with the world-known um, actor Robin Williams. Well, the film takes place on the Wilton Academy uh, uh, in 1959. Wilton is placed in USA. All the persons we follow in this movie, except Richard Cameron, are dynamic because they undergo a development throughout the film. One of the main characters in the film is Neil. Neil has brown hair and he's skinny and tall. He has brown eyes. And his, and, uh, his background is that his father wanted him to become a doctor because he didn't have the same opportunities as his son. His life had, have, had been planned for him. As Mr. Keating said in the film, he had acted all his whole life. His behavior when he is with his dad is that he is very well bred, but when he's with his friends, he smokes and drinks. But he's also a a an a great student, and he does what his father tells him. His attitude when he's with his friends is that he acts more freely. But when he with his father. He is afraid of doing something wrong, and therefore he acts more submissively. Even though they attend this wealthy academy, they are not better than anyone else, and will eventually end up in the same place, in the ground with the worms. This is the meaning of a sentence that Mr. Keating said in the film. He said that they are just food for worms. The father puts a very big pressure on his son, and it seems to be that he is never satisfied. This thing results in that Neil shot him himself in the end of the movie. Carpe diem, or seize the day, gives the boys self-confidence and make them realize that there are other things in life besides going to school, getting a job, and then die. There's actually something beautiful in every day, and they should seize the day and make the best of it. In the film, there is a, there is a battle of, uh, of betre between conformity and individuality. But how does the film portray? Conformity. In the start of the movie, we see how all the boys working as a unit to present the school. And nobody shows the school in their own way. The school warns that, that everybody performs great in school and they don't want anyone to run past their strict rules. In reality, Mr. Keating shows the boys that there are other things to life than reading books and following others' rules. He does this by forcing the boys to rip out the pages in their poetry book. His butt touches fear immediately and gets the class to make poetry and present it in front of the class to get Todd to face his fear. Todd is also one of the main characters in the movie. This movie make, made us think about who we are and that we should be ourselves no matter who we are with. We are all just humans.